Right then guys, I'm Gross Newton and today I'm going to be showing you my ever-expanding hardware collection. So as you can probably see, in front of you we've got a couple of Game Boys. To the left is the original classic Game Boy, technically known as the DMG Game Boy. And then to the right is the Game Boy Pocket, the successor to the, the original Game Boy. Uh, both of these I had back in the day. My sister had a Game Gear and I had a Game Boy and then I moved on to a Game Boy Pocket before finally moving on to a Game Boy Color in 98. But these are not normal Game Boys. As you know, I like my retro hardware, but I also like to get the best from them. So these are modified. So I'll turn them on and I'll let the screens do the talking. So these are actually the original screens. What's happened with the mod is that an LED light panel has been placed behind the original screen followed by some polarizing film and then both Game Boys are fitted with hex chips otherwise known as bivert chips and what that does in simple terms is improves the contrast that coupled with the backlight makes the screen the way it does now if you want to get a little bit technical Dave has done the mods, Dave Fisher he's told me that the bivert chip actually inverts the screen first and then the polarizing film reinverts it back again or something like that but all you need to know is they both look absolutely stunning my camera isn't really doing them justice trust me in real life they really do look really nice now both Game Boys I've uh, received from Dave his eBay username is Dave0035 and his name is Dave Fisher on Facebook. I'll pop some links below, all the details, etc. Really happy with the work. He does all kinds of Game Boys, all different custom ones. Each Game Boy comes cleaned. This Game Boy is really, really nice. It's been de-yellowed, cleaned inside and out. And he actually included a couple of games. In fact, three games. I've got Tiny Tunes Adventures. I got Space Invaders and I got the ever famous Tetris which I wanted back in my collection so I'm really well chuffed with them right then I'm now going to show you just how good a screen modded Game Boy does actually look so I'll just get my assistant to turn these uh, Game Boys on and you can probably tell before I even turn it on the, uh, the modded Game Boy does have a slightly darker screen and straight away, I think it's safe to say, it's night and day, it really is. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Now the Bivert chip actually gets rid of some of the, uh, the infamous ghosting that the original Game Boy used to suffer from. It also reduces blur as well, and basically just improves the screen. Now if only Nintendo released the Game Boy like this back in the day but this is where modern technology comes into place but you can really enjoy your classic Game Boy now in the 21st century really really happy and Dave once again has done an excellent job excellent workmanship and uh, I can't recommend him enough so get yourself on eBay and get yourself a classic Game Boy picked up or even a Game Boy Pocket, or both. Good old Mario, he never looked better, did he?
So there we go. Two more Game Boys added to the collection. Housed neatly and safely in my Maplin's flight case. Preserved for many years to come. Big thanks to Dave, Dave Fisher. Details below. So until next time guys. I'll see you on Cocker. See you on.